understand this. Whenever you see Fox News Peter Ducey asking questions, we all know what he's doing. He's trying to embarrass the administration. But what these people don't understand is in a time where the Biden administration's uh, poll numbers are low, not because of what they're doing, but because of how others are interpreting the situation in a false manner. When Peter Ducey goes in a press conference and tries to embarrass the administration by doing some sort of a gotcha question for Jen Psaki, they hurt themselves. They hurt the purpose because they want to put out misinformation, right? But it gives the administration and Jen Psaki as their spokesperson the ability to further educate, to further instruct, to further inform the American populace. And this is exactly what Jen did using the, when, when he tried to purport that inflation was a Biden thing or when he tried to in, in, imply that the only solution, that, that, uh, that the only thing that Democrats are saying is that it's the fault of Putin. Check this out. We'll take it on the other side. Thank you, Jen. We just heard you say again that you think inflation is going to be temporary. We've heard you say that it was going to be temporary since last spring. So how long do you guys think temporary is? Well, again, Peter, I think what we do is we rely on the assessments of the Federal Reserve and of outside economic analysts who give an assessment of how long it will last. The expectations and their assessment at this point continues to be that it will moderate by the end of the year. There's also no question that when a foreign dictator invades a foreign country and when that foreign dictator is the head of a country that is the third largest supplier of oil in the in the world that that is going to have an impact and it is and so to that point <coughs> inflation goes up today the president's statement blames the putin price hike are you guys just going to start blaming putin for everything until the midterms well we've seen the price of gas go up at least 75 cents since president putin lined up troops on the border of ukraine and and Last month, the statement didn't mention the Putin price hike. It mentioned inflation because of the pandemic. Why is that? Well, Peter, last year, last two years, there was a pan global pandemic. Everyone who's a global economist have all agreed that that has been the biggest contributor to date of inflation because of the impact on the supply chain. Obviously, global events impact the economy, the global economy, as well as global inflation. And the uh, price hikes as a result that have ex escalated over the course of time of President Putin's further invasion of uh, the impact on the global oil markets are, of course, having an impact. Now, as you see, all she did with those responses was to simply give Americans another way of hearing what the truth was. And they could immediately put that right next to the protagonists from Fox News, Peter Ducey. Peter Ducey misinformation answered by Jen Psaki. And what does he have? Nothing to come back with. Now Americans know better. That is why these press conferences are important. Let the right wing continue doing what they do. You know, it, when it, it, on politics done right, people always say, Egberto, why do you entertain other people coming in and giving misinformation? Because if they're not, they give that in misinformation to me and they give that misinformation to a lot of other people they know. But if they give the misinformation to me, I get a chance to address it. And a lot of people who follow them are going to get a chance who otherwise would not have gotten the chance to hear the truth. Now they can hear it. And that's the importance that we have to learn as progressives. Engage. Engage. Don't be scared to confront. Engage. Engage. Because others then will learn what the truth really is. Peter Ducey schooled by Jen Psaki once again. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet 
with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join. 